When we read and represent numbers to 10,000, it can be really useful to use a place value chart. Here is a place value chart. As you can see, we've got the ones column, the tens column, and the hundreds column. And we also have a new column, which is the thousands column. On our place value chart, we know that the ones column represents how many ones in a number, the tens column represents how many tens in a number, the hundreds column represents how many hundreds in a number, and the thousands column represents how many thousands in a given number. Each column on the place value chart can only contain a single digit. This is because, for example, if we had 10 ones on our place value chart, they would be exchanged for one ten, which would move into the tens column. Or if we had 10 hundreds, they would be exchanged for 1,000, which would move into the thousands column. Here is the number 2,794 on the place value chart. What's the value of the digit four in our number? Well, we know that the four is in the ones column, so we know we have four ones. Four lots of one is four, so the value of the four digit is four. What's the value of the digit nine in our number? Well, we can see that nine is in the tens column, so we know that nine lots of 10 is 90, so the value of the nine is 90. Let's try and find the value of the digit seven. We know that seven is in the hundreds column. This means we have seven hundreds, which we know has a value of 700. And finally, let's work out the value of the digit in the thousands column. The digit in the thousands column is two, and we know that two thousands makes 2000. Therefore, the value of the two is 2000. This means that 2000 add 700 add 90 add four is 2794. Now that we have worked out the value of the digits on the place value chart, let's try and do it the other way round. How can we represent 700, add 1000, add six, add 50 on the place value chart? Well, let's start with 1000 as it's the largest number. In 1000, we know we only have one lot of 1000, therefore we put the digit one in the thousands column. The next largest number is the 700. In 700, we know we have seven hundreds, therefore we put a seven in the hundreds column. Now we have 50, we know that in 50 we have five tens, therefore we put the digit five in the tens column, and finally we have the six. We know that in six we have six lots of one. This means that we need to put a six in the ones column. Therefore, 700 add 1000 add six add 50 is 1756. The last example we're going to try is 4000 add 90 add four. Again, we'll start with the largest number, which is 4,000. In 4,000, we have four thousands. So we put the digit four in the thousands column. The next largest number is 90. We know that 90 does not go into the hundreds column as there are no hundreds. We must make sure we put a zero in the hundreds column as a placeholder. We know that 90 is the same as nine tens. So we put a nine in the tens column and we know that four is the same as four ones. So we put a four in the ones column. Therefore, 4,000 add 90 add four is 4,094. Thanks for watching. See you next time.